morning. <coughs> Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining Happy Science World of Wisdom with Kaya. Today's Word of Wisdom is Finding the Heart to Forgive. The purpose of religion is to promote growth as a person. Your growth as a person will help you to solve your life problem. Master has given us three points to grow as a person in his book, uh, that's Strong Mind. So I would like to introduce third point today, which is to have a heart to forgive. Practicing forgiveness is essential to leading a life of happiness. When we study at school or work at a company, we gain ability to judge people more strongly than the ability to forgive people. So we tend to find fault in other person and set limits and restriction upon them. <clears throat> then we try to fit them into better mold based on our own standard. But the mind of forgiveness doesn't come naturally. We need our effort to forgive people. If you are angry or blaming a certain person, he or she may be responsible for half of the cause. But from that person's perspective, he or she may feel the same way toward you. Each person has their own reason to create the situation. Holding on to the feeling of resentment or anger will not help us find happiness. It's very important to make an effort to forgive others and also forgive yourself your past of failure and mistake. Have you ever think about how many times have you forgiven people in your life? When we look at when we look back our life, I think we've been angry or hated other people far more times than we have forgiven, forgiven people. In Master's lecture, The Forgiving Love, he says like this, I quote, From human's eyes, we might say, because they have been hurting us or were not, they were not beneficial, but harmful in the world. It is only natural they should undergo torture in hell. That's how ordinary people think, but God minds is different. He is crying while rescuing his drowning children from the pond. He is hugging his bleeding and weeping children. End quote. Thank you, Master. The human commits sins, but we also blame others when, we, when someone made a mistake. It's easy to find someone's fault, but it's difficult to realize own fault in ourselves. In Master's book, Developmental Stage of Love, he says like this, Those who know themselves, know others, and know the secret of the world, cannot help but be tolerant of others. So even though I made a lot of mistakes and I have faults in my life, God has forgiven them and nurtured me with his, with his great mercy. By knowing that fact, I feel I have to be tolerant of others. Again, I want to introduce some words from Master's book, uh, The Moment of Truth, he says like this. Remember this, a disciple asked Jesus, Lord, how many times should I forgive? Up to seven times? Jesus responded, not seven times, but up to seventy times seven. That is what Jesus said. He said to forgive 490 times. You may have people you love. You may have people you hate. But you have ever, but 
Have you ever forgiven them for ninety times? Probably not. I will tell you that you must do much more than that. Give love when you are met with hatred. Sweep up, sweep away hatred. With a great river of love, let the overwhelming force of your goodwill and love overpower the little stream of hatred, anger, and jealousy that try to creep in. Thank you, Master. A forgiving heart is essential for your happiness, and forgiving heart will give you peace in your mind. If your current life is happy, you begin to see your past experience differently. Like all the people who seem to hurt you, become the guide point that direct you to your present happiness. So, lastly, I want to quote again some words from Strong Mind from page one hundred. He says like this. Criticizing them for their behavior and mistakes, or trying to fit them into fixed mold, would only make the world a difficult place to live in. Each and every one of us have a divine nature within, and so our human nature is originally splendid. What's important is to help everyone develop and grow their divine potential to greater height of splendidness. The master's teaching have a real power to make your life better and better. I wish this teaching will save many people in the world. Thank you. Now let's move on to Happy Science Prayer. Lorde o cantare, ma stadio ho o kawa. Thank you very much for giving us great light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the true words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the world. And prayer to guardian and a guardian spirit. The true words spoken by Buddha, Duho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy. And Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven, and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. There is a prism of Buddha. There appear the seven colors of rainbow, arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love, or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom, or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls resting peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. 
The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirit. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of life. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock, and you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the two words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to punt in a stream. Then you can change your course. The two words mean the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the two words, and Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teaching. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days, or to put it another way, the fruit of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this right hand and go straightly on and on. Your lights are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past has already gone by, yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your mind. That is the reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha, and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other, let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is eternal law, which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future, to invite some people to Buddha land. Now here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world. Utopia shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas, believing that the light has reality, believing that love has reality, believing that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's word. Here, we vow to do so. Prayer to the Lord. Our Lord El Kantara, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O oh Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love, Earth. Protect us from all evil and open the future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our heart.
pray to the guardian and the guiding spirit. My guardian and the guiding spirit, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and a shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Thank you very much for joining. Have a wonderful day.